hello what's up guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you my vocal cleanup process and how i prepare my vocals in readiness for mixing in cubase 5 so stay tuned and let's get into the video you feel to harm me if you don't go school baby baby if you give me your vote i go make dollar one naira baby baby Hi, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So in today's video, I've decided to show you my vocal cleaner process from start to finish. How I just prepare my vocals in readiness for mixing. Every time I'm about to start mixing a song, the first step that I take is cleaning up my vocals, especially if I'm not the one who recorded the vocals. I don't really know exactly where and how the vocals are. The most important thing about vocal cleanup is that uh, it gives you an idea of the noise that you need to remove. You get to know every part of the vocal. So that way it will be easy for you to mix as compared to a situation where you just start mixing things and you don't really know how clean your vocals are. So there they could be some background noises, you could have some sounds that you don't need and then if you just mix without cleaning up your vocals first, you can later encounter some issues as you mix. So it's very important to clean up your vocals before any mix. Mostly I use FL Studio to clean up my vocals. So what I would do is make sure that here in Cubase, cut out all the vocals that I do not need and then just remain with the ones that I really need for the mix. And then render them to a specific folder on my desktop and then take them to FL Studio for cleanup. Because I feel like in FL Studio, uh, it's it's very easy for me to do the vocal cleanup as compared to the Cubase. So if you do not have FL Studio and you want to use Cubase, it's okay. You can watch this video and maybe you can pick out one or two things on how to clean and you can do it in Cubase. So without wasting much of your time, let's listen to what we have here. And then I'm going to render these vocals to a folder and then take them to FL Studio. <laughs> To harm me if you don't go school, baby, baby. If you give me your vote, I go make dollar one naira, baby, baby. I go like what with you. Can you pay me in Bitcoin, baby, baby? When you cash clients, you cash. All right, so this is what we have for this song, and these are the vocals that I'm going to be cleaning up before I start mixing. Those of you that have noticed, what I'm using here is just the Cubase 5 vocal mixing template, or some of you like to call it the vocal mixing preset. But this is just the Cubase 5 vocal mixing template. I've prepared it in such a way that I've put all the basic plugins for you. And I've put these channels right here. You have vocal one, vocal two, vocal three, a telephone, backing vocal, and all that. And I've put um, all the plugins for the lead vocal. And then I've also put the plugins for the backing vocals group channel right here. Right now, I haven't changed anything. So if you're using this template, you have the power to change some of the plugins and just tweak them to your taste. This is not a one-way ticket to a perfect mix. No, this is just to help you get started with the mixing. As you listen to this song right now, there's nothing that I've done to the, the mixing template. It is as it comes. I'll put the link in the description. Those of you that don't have it, you can follow the link and get the template. So I'm going to give you an idea of what this sounds like. So we'll start with our backing vocal. Let me mute our lead vocal. Then we'll start with our backing vocal here. So I'll just put up my backing vocal group channel and the effects. These are the ones here. So let me just play this so that you listen to what the backing vocal sounds like. <laughs> Alright, so that's the effect you get for the backing vocals, and these are the this is the combination of the plugins 
for the backing vocal. So let's listen to the lead vocal also. Tu sais quand c'est ma gueule dans ton studio, baby, baby. You feel too hard, mais if you know go slow, baby, baby. If you give, if you give. All right, so this is the the mixing template. I'll put the link in the description. Download the template. So what I do at this stage is now render these vocals to a folder on my desktop and then take the vocals to FL Studio. So let's just do that. So you go to file, then export audio mix down, and then here. Then I'll create a folder on my desktop. I'll just call it vocals. From here, I'm going to select the vocals that I want to render. So it's only from here. So these are the vocals that I'm going to render just from here, from vocal one, vocal two, coming all the way to my uh, backing right, which is here. So I don't really need all these. So these are the only vocals that I need. And then I'll just set I'll just set this to wave and then export. All right, so once you export your vocals from Cubase, all you need to do now is open FL Studio in that particular folder on your desktop. Then just get the vocals um, one by one, drop them into FL Studio and do the cleanup. So I'll get this and drag it here. And then I'm going to double click and then come here and say, edit in audio editor so what i want to do in this audio editor is detect a noise profile and then just apply and remove it from there so the noise profile can be maybe this part here where you only have the the noise that was coming in through the microphone so i'll click on this and then acquire noise profile once i do that I'll take it back to full view, then control A to highlight everything, then click on this and accept. So it's going to process throughout the vocal. So this way, I'm going to be sure that all that noise from the microphone is removed. Then I'll just take this and drag it here and then replace it with that. Double click and send it to track number one. I'm going to add isotope nectar 3 the reason I'm adding nectar is because it has this feature which is called vocal assistant and I use this feature to kind of detect the frequencies that are not needed so I'll click on assist then next and then I'll just leave it at modern and the same moderate and then next and play two seconds say Maggie you don't tell you you feel too hammer if you know go school. If you give me your vote, I go dollar one naira. All right. So once it's done, you just accept. So what I'm looking for really is not everything that the plugin has done. I'm only looking for this EQ, which has these frequencies that are being reduced. I'm going to remove a get. I'm also going to remove this EQ, which is just boosting the rest of the vocals. And then I'm going to, to remove the compressor and the reverb. So the only thing that I'm interested in is the EQ and the deesser. Two seconds, say Maggie, you don't touch you. So if you look at the deesser, it's getting rid of those S's and those those sibilances in the vocal, leaving it clean. Two seconds, say Maggie, you don't touch you. Also for the EQ, it is take getting rid of those frequencies that are not needed in the vocal or maybe let's just call them some bad frequencies in the vocal two seconds say maggie you don't touch you so once that is done i'll just remove this go back and then just export this work as well file go to my desktop the same folder which is vocals then vocal one, then I'm going to rename this as vocal one cleaned or whatever it is that you want to save it as to differentiate it from the actual vocal one. Okay, once your vocal exports, it will come to this folder and 
you just drag it and drop it here to compare it with the, the other vocal. So let's try and look at the differences between the, the initial vocal and the one that has been processed. So from here we can tell that the processed vocal right here looks more consistent in terms of peaks as compared to this one here. Also we've gotten rid of the noises, it's now clean. So we don't need this. So you do the same. Since the vocals are the same, you just remove this and drop in your second vocal, which is this. Your vocal too. And then do the same. Clean it in Edison and then double click and send it to one. So the settings are already there. So we're now back to our project in Cubase and assuming that all the vocals have been cleaned. So what you do is just highlight everything and drop them down here. So in my case, I'm only going to get the one that I've worked on and drop it here. So once I've dropped this vocal here, I'm just going to take it all the way up here to the original vocal, which is this one here. So now what I'm supposed to do is replace this vocal with this one that I've, I've processed. So I'm just going to delete this and then push this one up here. So you can notice that our vocals here are in mono. So I'm supposed to convert this to mono. I forgot to do it when exporting from FL Studio. I forgot to export in mono. So I have a full video now to convert from mono to stereo right in Cubase. So you can check the video out. Okay, so once this is done, just match the volume with the volumes in here. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. See you in my next video. Peace.